What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be highlighting some fairing repair and easy body work. I'll be using some fiberglass and resin to strengthen the damaged areas. I have also 3D printed a fairing mount. I will make a separate video on that when I get a hold of the grommet for the receiving end of the fairing tab. As you can see, I've got some broken tabs as well as a cracked belly pan. Start off by sanding the area to ensure that you get surface adhesion. Clean it with your favorite non-stick spray and allow the area to dry. I like to tape the back side of the broken area to catch resin that may leak through and also hold the part together a little bit better. Using my favorite chapstick, I'll glue the tiny parts back into place so that I know the pieces fit. Same method as before to dress the area. I like to use my grandfather's fine china to mix my resin. Let me know in the comments what your preferred resin mixing container is. Make sure you use a Diet Coke straw from McDonald's. It has to be Diet Coke. Ask the manager Shirley. She'll know which one to give you. I cut my fiberglass beforehand to make sure it would fit the area I was applying it to. I put a little extra amount of fiberglass on the seat cowl tab because it's a delicate area. Sometimes you just uh, you gotta beef it up. After some nice sunbathing, the resin will be harder than not subscribing to Eschimoto. That's right. Shameless plug. Go ahead and subscribe if you're enjoying this shitty video. Take the tape off, clean up, and deburr any edges. I had to drill out the hole for the seat cowl piece. The previous owner was cool enough to leave me with mounting brackets already riveted to the bike. There's enough lip here that you can easily adhere blue speed tape to it and attach your plate. I guess since the previous owner used rivets, I'll use rivets too. After drilling out the remaining scraps from the undertail, I'll copy the shape and mounting hole onto aluminum and make my own mounts. After those are cut out, I mock up the placement of the mounts for the plate. Alright, so after hole punching, or you know, using the punch to mark on the sheet metal on the underside where these are going to go, I just kind of loosely taped it up to make sure it was going to work. But the weight of the plate with the painter's tape is actually starting to pull down on the left side. So, I don't know, I think that'll work. Give the parts a quick sand and painting with only the finest silver can paint Rust-Oleum has to offer before riveting it back onto the bike. I use some blue speed tape to align where the holes will go for the plate. Make sure you drill them out as far as possible because you didn't do a good job lining everything up initially. It still works. That's really about it for the Triumph. Now to head out and enjoy the season. I still need to attach that 3D printed piece, but I am waiting on a grommet for the frame. I may do something on 3D printed parts for the bike later. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Be sure to subscribe for more videos.